In this video, we're going to talk about how to get a character model that has some animations applied to it with some bones. And we're going to do this all from Mixamo. And once we are able to download that, we're going to import it all inside of a game engine and hopefully set up some NPC type of movement. For my demos, I'm going to orient this around a horror type of level with a uh, NPC that can be triggered and we want to trigger some animations maybe like a like a lunging or a walking or whatever. We want this NPC to feel alive and respond to the player. So the first thing we need to do is go to Mixamo, which is just a site with some pre-set up characters and rigs, and we can apply some animations to it separately. So once you go to Mixamo, you may have to log in with an Adobe ID, and you can just use a personal email and associate that um, with your Adobe ID. Once you're able to log in, go to characters and I'm looking for a horror theme type of character. So there's lots of options here. You can, you know, you can look through many of them. Um, but for me, I think this first one actually works pretty well for what I want. Uh, I'm going to use this character right here. looks kind of, kind of weird and scary. So if you click this character, you'll see it defaults in a T pose. And once you, um, once you find one you like, I'm just going to download this because I want this character separately from my animations and I want to import this and then apply various animations to it. So to do that, just click on the download button. I do want to download this as an FBX. You know, this one's specific to Unity, I guess, but I'm just going to get the FBX um, by itself. Under pose, I'm just going to select T pose. I think, I think that would make the most sense and click download. And that may take a second and it'll pop up down here. Just keep that down there. Um, keep track of where it downloads to so you can grab it later. So now we're going to apply some animations to our character model. So go to animations. And you can find some stuff here. You know, some of these will look kind of goofy on your character. I think for what I want, let's do, let's do a standing up animation. Maybe, I think there's one of these down here. Uh, yeah, stand up. Right here, so maybe the monster is on the floor and based off of a trigger, the monster will stand up and then do, do something after that. So I think I want that one and I'm gonna download that. Uh, you know, actually, maybe we can adjust this a little bit. There's some sliders over here that can do some things like arm swing, for example, and see some adjustments. Actually, I actually don't like that. Um, I'm gonna just keep it at the original, but you can adjust these on many of the animations if you want to. I'm going to download that. So for what I want here is I'm going to choose FBX, same one. In this case, since I just want the animation data, I'm actually gonna do this without skin. And I'm gonna keep this at 30 frames a second. I'm not gonna mess with keyframe reduction, that's fine. So again, FBX without skin, keep the frames and don't mess with the keyframe reduction. Hit download. That one's gonna download as well down there. Let's get, um, let's get one more. Let's get some sort of walking animation. Um, <laughs> some of these look fun. I'm gonna go down to a standard walking. Actually, you know what? Let's look at this. There's a walking, but there's also something called female tough walk. I think that's actually looking a little bit closer to what I want. Now you're gonna notice that this animation is walking away from the original position. For what I want to do, because I'm gonna be importing this inside of a game engine, I think I want to control the root node of that and I wanna control where this game object is. So I'm gonna animate this inside the game engine, but I want this to walk in place. So to do that, I'm gonna click this in place button right there. So now we just have our walk cycle in a single place. And maybe I wanna adjust some of these things. I think it'd be even scarier if it was a slow, uh, suspenseful walk, right, towards the player. And I think also the stride, let's make it take longer strides, like maybe he's heavier and you know having a little bit of trouble moving around. Arm space, more monster-y to swing your arms around. Okay, so once we make some adjustments, just make sure that you have the in place set right there. Click download, same thing, FBX without skin, 30, none. Download that one, wait a second. And 
as long as you have the original character T-Pose model with the skin and the original, and then the two animations without the skin, we'll apply those later. This should be all you need. So just find out wherever you downloaded those, um, get those ready, and then we will work on importing this into a game engine.